Welcome back to Great SpaceX, and do we have some exciting news for you. Despite earlier doubts, the Falcon Heavy is set to take flight once again this year. Even more significant, this upcoming mission will play a pivotal role for both NASA and SpaceX in the years to come. When is this highly anticipated flight scheduled, and why is it so crucial? All will be revealed in today's episode. Two months ago, we discussed the possibility that Falcon Heavy might not fly again this year due to payload complications, which could have resulted in only one launch for the rocket in 2024. Fortunately, that scenario has been avoided. In the latest update, the payload for Falcon Heavy's second mission this year received positive news. NASA's Europa Clipper probe officially passed a crucial technical review called Key Division, I'm sorry, Decision Point E or KDP-E on September 9th, verifying its readiness for launch. With this milestone, the Europa Clippers launch schedule for this year has been confirmed. The team will now focus on final preparations leading up to the launch, which is set for October 10th from Kennedy Space Center, Florida. Quite a meaningful date, wouldn't you say? SpaceX has assigned three boosters for this mission, B-1090 as the core booster and B-1064 as well as B-1065 as the two side boosters. This return is monumental for both NASA and SpaceX, underscoring the continued collaboration between these two entities in pushing the boundaries of SpaceX exploration. For NASA, the Europa Clipper mission is a cornerstone in its broader scientific exploration of the solar system, particularly in its search for life beyond Earth. Europa, one of Jupiter's largest moons, has long fascinated scientists due to its potential to harbor a massive liquid water ocean beneath its icy surface. Water is a critical ingredient for life, making Europa one of the most promising destinations in our quest to answer whether life exists elsewhere in the universe. The mission's success is not just about reaching Europa, it's about collecting vital data that could redefine our understanding of habitable environments beyond Earth. However, the journey to Jupiter's system is daunting, with the spacecraft not expected to arrive until 2030. This long journey makes the timing of the launch critical. Any delay could disrupt the entire timeline, impacting future exploration milestones. Thus, launching on schedule is paramount to ensure that NASA achieves its exploration goals in a timely manner. Earlier this year, concerns emerged about the mission's viability after a key test in May. During the KDP-E test, it was discovered that the spacecraft's transistors Components responsible for controlling the spacecraft's electrical current were more susceptible to damage from radiation than expected. This posed a significant problem, as Jupiter's magnetic field is over 20,000 times stronger than Earth's, and prolonged exposure to such extreme radiation could jeopardize the spacecraft's systems. Doubts about whether the mission could launch this year began to rise given the damage sustained by the sensitive transistors. However, through rigorous testing and analysis over the past few months, NASA's Clipper team worked diligently to solve the issue. The team determined that while the spacecraft will be exposed to high radiation during its nearly 50 orbits around Jupiter, the duration spent in the radiation zones will be brief enough to allow the transistors to recover and function as needed throughout the mission. Lori Leshen, director of NASA's Jet Propulsion Laboratory, expressed her confidence, saying, I am thrilled to say that we are confident our beautiful spacecraft and capable team are ready for launch operations in our full science mission at Europa. This breakthrough prevented what could have been a major disappointment for NASA, especially given the project's staggering $5 billion cost. The agency has faced increasing criticism in recent years for its high-budget projects that have either faced delays or failed to meet expectations, such as the Space Launch System, as well as the Starliner spacecraft. Avoiding a similar fate with Europa Clipper is crucial, and SpaceX's Falcon Heavy will play a central role in ensuring the mission stays on track. For SpaceX, this mission represents yet another milestone in its ever-growing list of achievements. Although Falcon Heavy has not flown as frequently this year compared to last, successfully launching the Europa Clipper will reinforce the rocket's reputation as a reliable heavy lift vehicle. If the mission proceeds as planned, it will be Falcon Heavy's second mission of 2024, following the successful launch of the GOES-U or GOES-U weather satellite in June for NASA and NOAA. 
More importantly, it will mark the 11th overall mission for Falcon Heavy, which now stands as one of the most reliable and frequently used heavy lift rockets in the industry. A key factor in Falcon Heavy's success is its perfect track record, giving NASA confidence in its reliability for critical missions like Europa Clipper. This is especially crucial after two Falcon rocket incidents in July and August briefly halted SpaceX's operations, though they quickly rebounded with a Falcon 9 flight. The upcoming launch will not only reaffirm Firm Falcon Heavy's reliability, but also showcase SpaceX's strength amidst rising competition from ULA and Blue Origin, both planning significant launches later this year. With regulatory delays affecting Starship, these rivals are seeking to gain ground in the heavy lift market. Starship, though ready for launch, Starship, though ready for launch, has faced delays due to regulatory hurdles from the FAA, pushing its next flight to late November. This gives competitors an opening to showcase their capabilities. However, SpaceX's Falcon 9 remains a dominant workhorse, and the success of the Falcon Heavy's upcoming mission will further cement SpaceX's position as the leader in commercial spaceflight. While Falcon 9's operational consistency has been more than enough to keep SpaceX ahead of its rivals, a successful Falcon Heavy mission will send a clear message that SpaceX is unmatched when it comes to launching critical high-stakes missions. The coming weeks are critical, as NASA and SpaceX finalized preparations for the October 10th launch with hardware checks, payload integration, and rehearsals underway. The world will be watching as Falcon Heavy embarks on this historic mission to Europa. If you're excited, drop a heavy in the comments, send your best wishes, and don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to stay updated on all things SpaceX. We'll keep you informed every step of the way, including Falcon Heavy's next big feat. With one more successful mission, this year's achievements could mark a crucial stepping stone for Falcon Heavy's future. Some may argue that its reduced flight cadence along with the progress of Starship signals the beginning of Falcon Heavy's decline, but this perspective overlooks several key developments that keep Falcon Heavy relevant and vital to SpaceX's plans. One of the major missions originally scheduled for this year, NASA's Viper lunar rover, was canceled in July due to cost issues. However, recent updates suggest that intuitive machines might take over the mission, a move supported by NASA to avoid wasting the significant investment already made. The Viper rover is fully built and only awaits environmental testing. If intuitive machines proceeds with the mission, Falcon Heavy could still be involved as the Griffin spacecraft, which will carry Viper, is set to launch no earlier than September of 2025. While the delay is disappointing, it allows SpaceX additional time to prepare for this complex mission, originally planned to land all all three Falcon Heavy boosters. Additionally, Falcon Heavy remains essential for upcoming National Security Space Launch Phase 2 missions, scheduled to be completed by 2026. Many military and government payloads require the heavy lift capacity Falcon Heavy provides, ensuring its continued role in SpaceX's operations. Moreover, SpaceX has already secured a spot in the NSSL Phase 3 contract of 2025 to 2029 alongside ULA and Blue Origin. Given SpaceX's performance in Phase 2, it's likely Falcon Heavy will handle a significant portion of the upcoming missions, reinforcing its value to SpaceX's government and commercial clients. While Starship represents the future of SpaceX, Falcon Heavy will continue to play a key role in the near term. Starship is still facing regulatory delays and technical challenges, meaning it may take another year or more to reach stable operation. During this period, SpaceX's competitors, including ULA and Blue Origin, will be eager to gain ground. However, Falcon Heavy, alongside Falcon 9, will help SpaceX maintain its competitive edge in the heavy lift market. In essence, Falcon Heavy is not being overshadowed by Starship, but is instead serving as the bridge to SpaceX's future. It continues to play a crucial role in supporting government contracts, national security missions, and NASA projects. The future remains bright for Falcon Heavy, but its immediate success will be measured by the upcoming October mission, launching NASA's Europa Clipper probe. This mission not only represents a major scientific endeavor, but also an opportunity for Falcon Heavy to demonstrate its reliability following recent challenges with the Falcon rocket family. SpaceX must ensure that all preparations are perfect to guarantee a flawless launch. With just a few weeks remaining until liftoff, Falcon Heavy is poised to prove once again why it remains a critical part of SpaceX's launch capabilities. The countdown to yet another groundbreaking chapter in SpaceX's journey has begun. Well, folks, that's about it for today's episode. Thank you so much for tuning in. And as always, this has been Kevin from Great SpaceX. Until next time, keep looking up.